Well, hello. You know what time it is. Oh yeah, you can tell by the title, you already know what good good is in this video. I am doing all of my spring favorites. If you're new to my channel, every couple of months I do a seasonal favorites. Um, it just works better all the way around for me, for you, for everything. So let's jump right in. I got a lot of stuff to talk about and yeah, I'm excited. Let's do this. So to start us off, I have this moisturizer. This is Trader Joe's Fragrance Free Aloe Vera Gel, 95% Aloe Vera Gel Moisturizer. I have talked before about Trader Joe's skincare products. I am absolutely in love with their oil facial cleanser. It's so good, it's so affordable, it's just a one-stop shop. You know, you don't have to use a makeup wipe and then wash your face, you can just use the oil, get the makeup off, and then suds it up with the water and cleanse the face. It's beautimous. This, is something that I bought because the moisturizer that I use is the Bosha Black Hydration Gel. That is like my ride or die, favorite moisturizer of all time. It has everything I want, need, it's perfection. But it's $43. <laughs> and that's a little bit expensive for me. And sometimes a tank of gas is a little more important than moisturizer. So I got this to kind of substitute um, to help make my Bosha one last a little longer. I was like, well, this is fragrance free and it's natural. And I think it'll be a good kind of just nighttime moisturizer just to moisturize the face. And at first when I started using it, I was like, yeah, this is good. You know, it's like a nice natural moisturizer. But after just like two weeks, I could already see a difference in how soft my skin was. Now, I'm not going to lie to you and say this shrinks your pores or gets rid of redness or dulls fine lines and wrinkles. It's just a moisturizer. It's just something to nourish the face, but it does a damn good job. Like, I was feeling my forehead and I was like, oh my god, this is like, what is this? This is infant skin? Because this is not my alligator skin. I highly recommend this. It's an awesome product. They have a lot of great skincare stuff. And to top it all off, it's $3.99. Mm -hmm, you heard right. This is $3.99. So... I I couldn't be more happy with the results that I'm getting from this. It's awesome. Well, I've been really loving the gel products this spring. And this is something that I stole from my mom because I ran out of my most favorite cleanser in the whole world, my First Aid Beauty Cleanser. And I really like this. This is the Aveeno Ultra Calming Hydrating Gel Cleanser. It's fragrance free. It's good for sensitive skin. It hydrates. It's, it's perfect. I love it. And don't get me wrong. The First Aid Beauty one is awesome like if someone were to ask me what's a good like sephora brand cleanser to get i would totally recommend that one um it does come in different sizes but again it's really expensive Your small travel size costs more than this so uh, but if you're looking for a good deal and something that is just so just just a nice basic good cleanser like a decent cleanser i would get this the gel part is awesome it lightly nourishes the face so you don't feel like stripped and tight and all the things that we hate about cleansers it's affordable there's no fragrance in it it's good for sensitive skin like i said it's just it's the total package and honestly i mean unless i start making like beyonce money i probably won't buy the first aid beauty one anymore i will probably buy this one just because it's more affordable and sometimes for me it's hard to spend a lot of money on a cleanser because it's literally on your face for like 30 seconds and then you wash it off it's not like you know a moisturizer that has all this stuff in it that works and you put it on and it lasts all night you know this, this avino you did right by me you did right by me now this product is the bare minerals bare skin sheer sun serum bronzer it's in the shade bare glow you do have to shake it up this defied all my expectations. I probably talk crap about this in a disappointing products video, I'm not gonna lie. But I was just one of those people that always was like, I don't like cream bronzers, I don't like cream blushes, I don't like cream highlighters, like I don't like anything cream but foundation and lipstick. Like I just, I don't, it's just like messy, it's gonna ruin the foundation, I was just so against it. And then I tried this th like a couple weeks ago, just to like, I don't know, whatever. Oh my god! I don't know what they made this formula from, but it's so great. It makes your skin look nice and healthy and hydrated with a slight dewiness to it. It's easy to blend. It's very sheer. It's not heavy. It doesn't move makeup around. So if I were to go over like my foundation and powder right now, it doesn't move it around. It's just so good and there's so many things you can do with it. Like, 
You could probably use this all over your body for like a light little like bronzing. You can mix it with your foundation like I did today. I have a foundation on that's just a little bit too light for me. So I just put a couple dabs of this and it doesn't make it too streaky or orangey. It's just the perfect shade. It's so nice and I think it's great um, for the summertime because I don't like to wear a lot of makeup in the summer. But you might want to add like a little bit of bronziness to your look. You can just take this on like a foundation brush and just buff it in everywhere where you normally put bronzer and have a great lightweight bronzy look I just this is so good I've used it non-stop with my foundation I've even you know used it for regular bronzer and it's just it works bare minerals <laughs> forgive me I, I love this and I will repurchase it over and over and over again okay bare minerals is definitely gonna come for me but this is a product that I did not like because I would just always was taught that I have oily skin I can only use loose translucent powders I cannot use pressed so I never buy pressed translucent powders and so a friend gave me this and I was just kind of like well it's nice I guess like the translucent powder like who cares but it's pressed and I don't use pressed so I kind of just like tossed it to the side well then I revisited it because I was kind of like these powders feel really nice and I was playing around with it and this just defies all expectations like Anything that you knew about pressed powders, like nothing compares to this. I adore this formula and I like that it has the matte side and the glowy side. I think it's great because one, if you're a makeup artist, you can use this on both oily clients and dry clients. I think it's great because you can use the matte side to kind of set the foundation and then you can use the glowy side to kind of dust all over if you want a more dewy look like I did today where I look a little more shiny all over. Um, or you can do this as a or you can use this as a really subtle highlighter. The powders are just so finely milled, they just feel like nothing. And I think sometimes with a dewy look, it's very hard because on one hand, you want the makeup to last, you want to set your face so that other products like bronzer and blush and highlight can go on really nice and smooth and they're not clinging to wet patches, but you also don't want to powder your face so much that you're kind of defeating the whole purpose of your dewy foundation or your dewy look, you know what I'm saying? So I think this is perfect and sometimes when I'm in a rush, I just rub my brush in between them and just dust all over my face and done. I just I I love this I think I'm gonna travel with this when I go on my vacation I've been using it non-stop I would purchase this again it's the most beautiful beautiful powder in the whole wide world and I love it I absolutely love it I think it's perfect and you know what you could even use it with a matte look too. Sometimes you just don't want to layer so much powder and stuff on your face and feel so heavy. Just get this baby boo. Bare Minerals Translucent Powder Duo and you'll, I, I will take my thank you card in the mail at any time. So this product was something that was actually supposed to be my winter favorites but let me tell you it has gone all the way through to my spring favorites and my summer and for years to come. This was recommended to me by Jen Loves Reviews. This was like her number two product on like her products of 2017. This is the NYX Epic Ink Liner and the title really matches the performance. It is epic. It is a game changer. This is black. It's waterproof. It's precise. I don't have to finesse or finagle with it. It's user friendly. It's a brush tip. Like it's so just, ugh. like look at that. Like OMG. It's so perfect. I just love this liner. And I'm not someone that wears liner all the time. I'll be honest. I wore it today for you guys so I could tell you, but you can't really see it. I have hooded eyes. To me, I just feel like personally, it just wastes space on the eye. If it's not the one thing that I'm wearing or I'm not trying to fix a lash on the lowdown, I really don't ever wear it because I like to wear more eyeshadow and I like to experiment with colors and blending and shimmer and matte and I like you to see the eyeshadow look. I'm not trying to cover it up with a bunch of black liner so that you can't even see anything on my really small space that I'm working with. So I really love this though because when I want something I want it to be good and I did love my Maybelline Ultra Liner. And I still would probably recommend that one just because it's a little bit cheaper than this one. I think this one's ten bucks. Um, but you know how like when you're with a guy and you like him and whatever and like you think that's like the best relationship ever and then he dumps you and you're like I'll never love again and then you meet a guy and you're like oh my god like what was I thinking I could have been stuck with that and you're like amazing I don't know what else was out there. 
Yep. Mm-hmm. I love you. Okay, for some reason, I have been just, like, obsessed with contoured lips. Like, contoured lips and a gloss, and I'm just into, like, contoured juiciness. I don't know why. I'm, I dislike that look. This is the perfect liner to do it for my skin tone. These NYX lip liner crayon things are so freaking good. You know I love a lip liner and you know that I love a drugstore lip liner. So this is perfection. I just, the color is perfect. Don't get me wrong, I did really love my Pop Beauty one in Nudie. That one was really good. It was just a skosh too light for me. I think if I was like a skosh bit more pale, it might work. But this one is just, you guys, it's like the formula, the color, just everything is so good. Mine's not that sharp, but I just, it just looks perfect. It's just so good. I just put it on my lips. I buff it out with my finger. I put my gloss on and I'm just like, hey baby, I'm ready to go. Sometimes I just have so much stuff that I start using other things and I just forget about other products that like I'm in my head I'm like I know they're good and then I try them again and I'm like oh my god I'm sorry I cannot believe I forgot about you highlighter. This is one of them. This is the Artist Couture and Jackie Ina collab. Jackie Ina is a fabulous YouTuber. I love her videos. I think she's super funny. I think she's gorgeous. She collabed with um, Artist Couture a couple years ago and came out with a loose um, glitter, like a loose highlighter with them called Le Bronze. Now, Jackie Ina is a person of color. So obviously she's going to make a highlighter for people of color, right? It's not that she's biased. It's just that she's like, I'm going to make a highlighter that I'm going to wear. Just totally cool. But a lot of people came for her and were like, Jackie, we love you. Make us white people a highlighter. So they relaunched um, Le Bronze because it was like one of those limited time only things. And then she also launched a new shade called Le Peach. Now, when I first got Le Peach, I was kind of like, oh, it's a little bit less pinky than I thought it was going to be. And it's a little more orangey. But for some reason, I tried this again the other day and I was like, whoa, like this freaking works. And I just love these powders to death. Like when I put this on, I forget how much I freaking love the Artist Couture Diamond Glow powders. It's something about them. I just don't, I can't put my finger on it. Like, look at that. It's just like... Oh, when I put this on the cheeks, it just looks wet. It looks wet, but it looks like slicked down. It looks like it becomes part of the face. And it's like, and just like my other one, Yas, I wore it to the Lipstick Nick Beauty Tour. And when I would look at myself, like later I'd go to the bathroom, I'd look in the mirror, I'd be like, I love these highlighters. And I was wearing this a couple weeks ago and I keep wearing it all the time, especially when I'm doing something a little more glam and a little more out there. And it's just like, holy free holy Batman. This is what dreams are made of. This is why everyone needs the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powders because they are some of the best highlighters I ever used. They have a huge shade range. I think they're pretty affordable. They're loose, so you can do a lot of different things with them. I'm just obsessed. I'm obsessed with this color. I think it's going to be a staple this summer. I am... I love it. I love it. Okay, guys. Now that our video is coming to an end, I want to give a shout out to an entire brand. I was lucky enough to get this stuff at the Lipstick Nick Beauty Tour and everything that I tried, I was more and more impressed with. Like I would try one thing and I'd be like, oh my gosh, I love this. And then I'll try another thing and I'd be like, oh my God, I love this. And then I'll try another thing and I'll be like, oh my God, I love this. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Jeffrey Star Cosmetics, baby, you do it for me. First off, I got one of his highlighters. I got Peach Goddess, which... I think is like the perfect shade ever and definitely a shade that I would have picked on my own. Tons of shades, huge ass pan size. I just think you'll be putting this highlighter on when you're 82 years old at the nursing home. Like that was just a once back and forth boom. Here is a little swatch of Runeo for ya. Boom. Oh my gosh. These are just everything you want in a highlighter. They're buttery, they're creamy, they're pigmented, they have a large shade range. They're icy, metallic skin frosts. They are amazing. I have it on today. And this is just like a little amount. Like I barely like threw it at my brush in here and look what you get. Like, I mean, come on. Jeffrey, come on. Like, what the hell? They also have palettes of this where you get like um six 
uh, skin frost in them. So if you're someone that likes a little bit of a smorgasbord of stuff or you don't have any highlighters and you kind of want a big collection or you're a makeup artist, that's the way to go. I just, I love this. I think for the price point, you get a lot in here. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I think this is probably one of the most blinding highlights I have in my whole collection that is a pressed powder. I'm obsessed. Now, I was one of those people that was always like, you don't need to have no lip scrub. You can go to your kitchen and get you some honey and some sugar and rub it on your lips. It's the same damn thing. Okay, but I kind of had a change of heart. His lip scrubs are really, really good. I love them. I think for 12 bucks, you get a lot in this little thing. This is root beer. It is vegan and cruelty free, just like his whole entire line is. And edible. And at first I was kind of like, ew, root beer. I wanted like watermelon gum or like blue raspberry. You know, like I was like complaining in my head. Like, I, I mean, I would never say that in, to anybody. Until now. But I love the scent of root beer. I love the scent. I love the way it tastes. It's so like vanilla-y and spicy and delicious-y. I just, oh, I love these. And they're so cool because... If you're someone that's going to come out with velour liquid lipsticks, you want people's lips to look really, really good. So why not come out with a product where people can scrub off the dead skin, moisturize the lips a little bit, have a little snack, and then put the lipsticks on and they look really, really beautiful. So I think this was really smart of him. My favorite thing his velour liquid lipsticks. This has completely changed my world. You guys have known on my channel, I talk a lot about the fact that I don't really like liquid lipsticks that much. There's a couple formulas out there I kind of like, but even those, I always find something like kind of not perfect about them. And I know that's stupid, nothing's perfect in life, but <laughs> I beg otherwise when it comes to liquid lipsticks. His are absolutely the best I've ever tried in my entire life. This first one is Gemini. This is the one that I got at her tour. This one does actually um, smell like root beer as well. Um, I love the formula. I love the price point. I love the packaging. I love that it has like that doe foot applicator that has like the dip in it, as you can see. I love it. This one looks really terracotta, but it's actually more like a dark pink. The next one I have is from his holiday collection. That's why it's like super sparkly. This is Christmas Cookie. This is my favorite pinky nude of all time. It's so beautiful. And then I have Mermaid's Blood, which I feel like was made for me because I was looking for a shade just like this. And my friend got one from ColourPop and she was like, ew, don't get it. It's so dry. And I was like, oh. So then I found this and I was like, Jeffrey, boy, you did it. Um, this one's definitely, like, not your average color. It's definitely, like, a weird moment. But how fun is that? Like, all of these are just one swipe, super duper opaque. You don't have to dip in a second time. They're not streaky. They dry down, but they have a slight movement to them so that they don't settle into, like, the lines in your mouth and look really dry and crusty. Like, I'm just, like... What did you do, Jeffrey? What did you do? These are so freaking good. Like, oh my god, I'm gagging over them. I just, I love, love, love these. I want to buy more. I want, like, Calabasas. I want Mannequin. I want Drug Lord. I want all of them. And that's the great thing, too, is that he has so many shades that fit every type of skin tone and every type of person and every type of look. You can also use them as liquid eyeliners as well. I just, I can't say enough good things about these. If you're someone that's on the fence about whether or not you want to try Jeffree Star Cosmetics or you want to try his liquid lipsticks, go for it. You will not be disappointed. I promise you these are the best liquid lipsticks I've ever tried. So Jeffree, if you are watching, PRless baby, I got you. I'll promote you all day. Well, that is it, my lovely beauty friends. I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. Let me know some of your favorite products down below in the comments section. I'm always looking to try out new things. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because I need the help. I need all the help I can get y'all. I'm trying to pay these bills, y'all. I'm trying to get this makeup, y'all. I love you guys so much. I will see you in my next video. Bye!